Wow, okay, so I just, uh, I, uh, I, I guess we can start the video like this, like, this is like, I literally was in the middle of a DM with someone, and then this is what happens next. I forget that I was supposed to record, and, well, at least this is our first match, but now you guys don't know what the other dude looks like, which makes me sad. Well, I'm pretty sure you know the dude's name, at least. I mean, unless you can see him in the thumbnail, but, like, great. I, ugh, I don't know what to say. Makes me sad. Well, oh my gosh, you're close. Let's have a baller brawl out. Okay, that's wonderful. Ooh, okay. That was uh, that was a bit strange. We were having a baller brawl out. That's one way to start the video, especially with a very awkward start to the video. Just brawl with baller. Just all oh, makes sense. And, uh, yeah. I don't know why, but I picked the Kensa Duelist because I was just like, hmm, so I'm bad with Duelies, I say. Maybe I can do at least something to be better at them. I mean, I don't know if Turf War counts, but, like, it's one way. Okay. Now I just gotta get better with Baller. Oh, crud. There we go. Oh. Oh, yes, I got, I got him stuck. Yes. Now I just gotta... Brrr. Okay, never mind. I guess I could just die like that. that. That works too. You know what, boy? That works too. That works too. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you going? Why can't I find you? How is it that you've covered so much? Na 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 Here comes Mr. Jared Gaming Da na na Spins his web when he feels like it Post content when he feels like it When he wants to, he can just do a WOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOO
Because, like, maybe it's a thing where the Rapid Blaster Deco is a better thing in terms of long range of stuff. DM people, 101. Yeah. You, when you DM people, you get really lame introductions, and yeah. So let's see, uh, oh. I mean, let's just see how you're gonna do with a cancer Spire Shop Pro. Because again, people who use it these days think they're amazing. But let me tell you one thing. While that weapon is godlike, admittedly, you gotta be really smart with it. You gotta be really careful with it. It's one of those weapons... Like, I think the Kenza Spotter Shepard is actually one of those weapons, one of the only weapons in the game, where not a beginner is just gonna pick it up and immediately be good with it, but it's more like a... If when you pick it up, and you start, like, practicing with it really hard, then you would be, like, a god. Because the Kenza Spotter Shepard Pro, again, at least in this, uh, 4.4-ish patch... I mean, technically, it's not 4.4, it's 4.5, because, you know, they nerfed the Kenza Spotter Shepard Pro's... Uh, special point duration, but but in this patch currently, still it is still really amazing. I mean, heck, they nerfed the um they nerfed the Kensa Sloshing Machine or the Sloshing Machine as a whole, to where its hitbox isn't really that big. And um oh, what else? And it also consumes more ink. So that's another thing. Are you gonna take the Zelda, or am I just gonna? Okay, never mind. I got zero words for that. DMs. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I guess sometimes when you try to DM people during a match, it just looks awkward. But you know what? Good game, good game. Just you just gotta get good with like Kent Spasha Pro, then you could get some chance. I don't know. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Almost forgot my gear for the custom jet. So that's just bloody wonderful. Like, I was, like, I was looking through my, uh, shirts and shoes, and I was just like, where is that one shirt I wear with run speed up? Then I just realized, oh, no, that's not the shirt with run speed up. It's the shoes with run speed up. I'm wearing the shirt with the special charge ink recovery, and the shoes with, uh, run speed up and sub power up. Which I, I don't know how, but I somehow forgot that in order. But, uh... Yeah, I'm just make fart noises until, uh... Okay. There we go, fans. Do you like fart jokes these days? Because if you do, you're funny. Actually, not really. You're just a little bit, uh, of a... What was I gonna say? Do you think fart jokes are funny? Especially from someone making fart sounds like me? Then, um... You. Actually, I think that's what I'm gonna do every time I kill him. Just for the, just for the sake of it. Let's see, where are you coming from? There you go. I fart on you. Oh, are you coming back? Let me, uh... Let me, uh, where are you going? Hey, where are you going? Are you going over there? Let me just, uh... Yeah, let me do that on you. Let me just... Because that's wonderful, isn't it? We're about to take this game just like that, huh? Did I just seriously kill you with a stingray? Oh, okay. Well, I guess that changes everything. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, I say. Ooh, okay, okay, all right. I don't know why, it feels like a century since I was talking. I have no idea why. So I'm gonna just get my talks up like the, just just get it up, you know? I don't know why I'm constantly doing random farts in my mouth, which I probably shouldn't be, but you know what, whatever. Anyways, another Clan Blitz game on Humpback Pump Track, which I think the last time I did it was the actually the very first 1v1 that I recorded, which was with Mr. Morris or Mr. Blue. And yeah, which honestly, the more I think about it, it, may, it makes me sad how I didn't record the other 1v1s, or the other uh, 1v1s, yeah, yeah, the other 1v1s, it makes me sad how I didn't record the other 1v1s I did with 
every other person. Okay, there we go. Just gotta, just gotta make him scared. Gotta make him scared. We gotta make him realize, hey, there's a bubbler. That's scary, man. I also put on main power up just in case, because I wasn't confident in the fact that there's possibilities that this man could survive, even if I was in the distance he should have died from. So that's why I put some on. And yeah. Then again, well, I also put on some swim speed. Not Ninja Squid, because I am I still think Ninja Squid is not really relevant. I mean, even though it could be relevant in 1v1s, sure. But I think what makes them relevant in 1v1s was just because you're fighting one person. Not one person's going to pay attention every time. But I think I might know how to deal with a Ninja Squidder. I think. I don't know. I might be wrong. But it's what I think. He didn't die. Okay. Wonderful. Bloody wonderful. Let me hit you real quick. Let me see. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Mike? Oof. I saw I saw he whipped out his inkjet, but I killed him like right before he did. Makes him makes it a sad tale, doesn't it? It's a sad tale when you whip out an inkjet or a splashdown, but you just die. Actually, and that also includes Booyah Bomb, since that thing comes with armor. Okay, so how am I going to approach him? Oh, actually he's got his inkjet. Let me just uh let me just dodge you. I mean that's not what you should do. But I mean for your case I'm going to. Just because I can. Remember man, bubbles are protection. Is he gonna wait? Is he really gonna wait it out or something, or is he gonna chase me? He's gonna Oh no, he's coming now. He's coming. Okay. 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 We just gotta okay it like a few times and then we, we got it, fams. <laughs> but okay. So, uh, yeah. Sorry, Daniel, but, uh, you know, GG's to you. And, uh, oh yeah, uh, I just wanna tell you guys, why does my Lizzie Rascal 1v1 have to be the most popular?